Hello and welcome to another Applied Energy 6.2 tutorial. In this video I will go through the ME network buses and I will briefly go through the upgrade cards and how to use them with buses after that. This is not the first video I've done with AE2 so if there are any items or blocks that, that I don't cover here but, but you still use then you can probably find them in another video and you can in that case check the video description for links. Before we get started we, I will just cover one important concept when talking about ME networks and that is directions. Import and export always means out or well, into and out from the network. So import means that I take items from a chest or furnace and I import them into the network. And export always means that I export items from the network into the chest. I will go through this more clearly later on, but this is important to know and so you don't mix them together. Now we can get started with the buses. And the first bus I will look at is the storage bus. Craft it with an ME interface. I won't go through this block though, but there are two types of interfaces. They work the same, but and there's a shapeless recipe for toggling between them. However, I won't use it. I'll just use it to craft the storage bus, or actually two of them. The storage bus is used to create a, a, a bridge between the network and some storage medium like a chest. So if I place the storage bus here and here, I will have two chests at my disposal. In one chest I have some ores and a few cobblestones and some things. And here I have some more cobblestone and glass. And if I look in the terminal, I can see everything as, as a bunch. Now there's a lot of things we can do with the storage buses, so let's take a look. So when we look at in the storage bus interface, this is what we will see. And I will go through all these options one by one. In the middle we have a filtering option. Here we can filter what items are allowed or, or not allowed in the uh, to pass through the bus. So if I place sand here, that means the sand is a valid item to put into the chest, for example. And you can use the partition storage button to to quickly configure the the bus to own to with what we have in the chest. So all these items are in the chest, and when I formatted this storage bus only these items are allowed and you can place items manually and remove them manually if you please. So now I remove the cobblestone that means that it's not no longer allowed to be in the chest. We can still place it in the chest but it won't end up in the chest when I place it back. So if I take all 64, 60 from one chest and 4 from one chest, take them out, put them back in they're gone because they are in the chest because here they are allowed next thing to look at we can repartition this next thing that is equally important as partition perhaps even more important is the priority priority is simply in what order the item storage will 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 be so if i have this priority as one and this priority as zero items will end up in this chest before that one but only if they are allowed so they will work together with priority and partition so if i just remove all of these and i take the cobblestone once again, put it back in, 
now we'll have it in this chest because this storage bus had a higher priority compared to that one. So now I, but now I partitioned it to be exactly like this and I have glass over here. Now if I take out the glass, put it back in, it will still be in this chest. Because only these items are allowed even if this bus has a higher priority. Easy to mix up, but very quite easy to use once you get the hang of it. Next button is the input-output mode. So now it's in bidirectional mode, and that means you can both insert and out, and uh, insert and extract items from it, from through this bus. So if I use extract only, and I take the cobblestone once again. Put it back in. It will no longer be here because this bus is only for extracting. Now if I insert, I can take the cobblestone and place it back, but I can't see it because it will only be inserted into this chest, but we cannot extract items from it. So. Let's have it bidirectional and only these items are allowed to go both ways. Okay, that's enough for the storage bus. I will use it later on in another example, but let's leave it for now and move on to the export bus. The export bus is crafted with formation core and pistons. So let's grab a few of these. And an export bus is a bus you will use to extract items from the network into a chest or into a furnace. I will place it up here and I will place it here on the side. So up here I would like to export something and this is the filter here in the middle. You can only export, you can only filter one item to export. If you want more, you have to use these upgrade cards, but we'll get back to that, to that later in the video, as I said in the beginning. So what to export? Well, I would like to make glass. So let's grab some, some sand. And I put the sand in the filter. Now this, the ME network will export sand into the top of the furnace. So here we see sand is slowly filling up the furnace. And here on the side is where I want to export coal. So let's grab a piece of coal and place that in the, the filter. And now we have coal filling up from the side into this slot and the furnace will start produce glass, of course. So, but this so that's enough for the export bus for the moment. We will again we will get back to this when we have cards to put into it. But how do we get the items out of the furnace? Well, of course, we used import bus, crafted very similarly as the export. So the import bus will go here. Now the import bus will, in this filtering, it has the same or very similar <laughs> filtering options as the export bus. But in this mode, when it's blank, it will import anything from, from the furnace into the network. And of course, this is quite a good option for the furnace, since we probably probably want to import everything into the network. Okay, that's enough for now, and we'll once again we will get back to this in just a while when we get to the cards over there. 
So there is one more bus that we'll take a look at. And that's the toggle bus. So the toggle bus is all it also has a shapeless recipe. You can tog have it as a toggle bus or an inverted toggle bus. Um, so let's remove that and place cable and a toggle bus and some more cable. So this means that when I apply a redstone signal to this toggle bus, it will be connected. So in this chest we have a lot of basic cards and capacity redstone and fussy and everything, lots of lots of cards. And here we have storage buses. So we should be able to see them if they are connected, but they're not. So if you look at this cent middle stripe here, when I apply a redstone signal, it turned a little blue. And that means that now these two cables are connected. And now they are not. So now they are connected and all these cards could end up show or uh, well, they could show up in the terminal. But we have a have a problem here because we have too many devices on the network. We have one, two, three, four, five six, seven, eight, nine devices. So, and I plan for this. So here I have an inverted toggle bus. It has been connecting the furnace to the network. So if I toggle this off, now we can see all the cards over here. So let's grab a few because we will we will need them shortly to be able to do this more <laughs> to have be able to have both sides connected at the same time i will have to use a an me controller instead but doing this i can toggle between different parts of the networks being active or not and so i can make it work for demonstration purpose Okay, that's the toggle bus and that now we have a bunch of cards and we have lots of buses storaging, storage and importing and exporting. So now it's time to take a look at the cards. At the moment there are five types of cards and these yellow red ones are crafted from basic cards and these bluish reddish are crafted from advanced cards. So a quick review of all of them. First we have the redstone card. This will make a bus respond to a redstone signal. So for example the the export bus will only export items when it receives a redstone signal. Next we have a capacity card. Then using the capacity card with, um, with an export bus will make will give us more filtering options. And then we have the fussy card. This will make, make us sort and filter items with damage values. For example, bows and and uh, swords with low durability. The acceleration card will just speed up the port or the bus so we can extract or import items much quicker than before. And finally we have the inverter card and this card will invert the options that you have set. So you can say that these items are not allowed in this chest. So let's take a quick example of how we can use this. We can start on the on this one, the export bus, and we can place in the capacity card. For every card you get a few more options. 
up to this. You can see that we have import export bus two. It says the tooltip. That means that we can have two cards in an import or export bus. So now we can filter on a lot more items than before. So if I grab these, I can filter on ores as well. I can put these back and as soon as this sand will be finished, the, uh, the network could stack up iron and gold into the furnace. We should turn this off and turn this on in just a while. But first, before I do that, I will upgrade the import bus with the acceleration card. So this will make the import much quicker. So it will very quickly empty this, the glass blocks compared to before. And we can also put in a acceleration here as well. So instead of one item at a time, we can now have eight or 16 or 32. So we can also demonstrate the capacity one in the storage bus, for example. Um, here we have it. For every new capacity card, we'll have more filtering options in the storage bus. And here on this chest, now we have only coal and gold and iron. But if I place an import bus here, this means that this chest, the contents of this chest will be imported into the network but nothing will be able to go back. So if I pu put a few more acceleration cards, this should empty really quickly as soon as we hit the lever. And the glass is also out already and we can remove the sand and now we can see the gold ore quickly turned up because we have it in the filter. So that's basically everything I wanted to go through in this video. So I've covered all the four different buses and a few cards, how to use them, how to connect and all the filtering and, and priority options that you have in the buses. So hopefully everything was clear. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comment section. And thank you for watching.